KPL News Time is 8.44. This is Acadiana's Morning News. I'm Brandon Como, <laughs> the dancing of Bernadette Lee and DJ Druette from DOTD joining us in the studio. Good morning. Word Good up. morning. <laughs> I know, word up. I'm glad you approve of the bumper music. We like that. I was... I'm, I'm digging it. I'm right. it. Yeah. We always get a special pleasure whenever our, our guests enjoy the yes. uh, the bumper music, yeah. especially one of our favorite guests. Yeah. So we appreciate you stopping by. Um, so, all right. So today we're going to talk about uh, meetings and workshops coming up. Now, before we get into that, Deidre, um, there is a project that's going to be coming up, uh, the Verilo School Road Widening Project. Um, you know, for those that are in the area and those that travel into the area, um, tell our listeners what's going to be coming up. Sure. Uh, basically, right now, we, we actually... We're in phase one of the awesome. Vero School Road widening where we were doing a lot of uh, clearing and grubbing work, removing a lot of the um, uh, trees and stuff out there uh-huh. and doing a lot of drainage work. And now we're into getting ready to uh, kick off phase two awesome. where we will be doing the actual constru- actual widening, mm-hmm. uh, start the process of actual widening Vero School Road. Awesome. So I do encourage the public to stay tuned. They can visit our DOTD website, dotd.la.gov. Uh, for the latest information about any possible lane closures in regards to that project. But we're really excited about this project. This is a project that's been a, uh, uh, highly awaited for oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot oh, of yeah. the public around here. Mm-hmm. So we do have that project that's getting ready to kick off. Well, good. We're glad we could bring that good news this morning. All right. Now we've got a couple of opportunities for the public to get involved in some projects. Uh, first of all, let's start with the LA 31, uh, uh, project in St. Martinville. You got a public input meeting coming up. Yeah. We, we always want to encourage to get, encourage the public, of course, to get involved mm-hmm. in a lot of the transportation projects that are going on uh, because that's how we're able to move these projects through public input. Mm-hmm. And we have two uh, meetings that are coming up that would allow for public input. Uh, we have a public meeting that's scheduled for this Thursday, January 21st, mm-hmm. from 5 until 7 p.m. at the St. Uh, Martinville Magnolia Recreation Center. Awesome. And this public meeting is to uh, give out information to the public about a proposed new highway that would serve as a bypass for the existing LA-31 route through St. Martinville. So the public can come out. There will be a uh, presentation that will be on continuous loop. They'll be able to receive information about the proposed new highway, as well as we'll be we'll have people there who will be taking comments from the public regarding any comments, uh, concerns that they may have about this particular project. So we do invite the public to come out for that. Awesome. And of course, another big uh, meeting oh, yeah. that we. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't come on the show without <laughs> giving everyone the latest update <laughs> about the Lafayette Connector Project, uh-huh. which, of course, is uh, highly talked about in its areas. Uh, yeah. Another big project as well. But this Saturday, we have a uh, what we call our Community Vision and Values Workshop. Mm-hmm. This is actually our first big event for the public to come out, and it's so significant. Uh, we're going the basically the day is going to include an opportunity for the public to come out mm-hmm. and engage with a lot of the people that we have working on this project. Mm-hmm. We have uh, engineers that will be there and there will be breakout sessions as well that the public can attend in regards mm-hmm. to the align the corridor alignment for the mm-hmm. project. Uh, we'll have a session about the environmental process. Uh, a lot of people don't know that we actually there are a lot of policies and rules and regulations that in place that we have to follow Mm -hmm. as a state agency Mm -hmm. and they're there to protect the uh, people as well as the surrounding environment so we'll have that breakout session as well as a breakout session in regards to uh, bridge structures so people can come out and learn about the different types of bridges structures Mm -hmm. the the elements that are involved with that uh, as well as a session uh, probably Probably my, one of my favorite sessions is the design element session. Mm-hmm. And it's so many different components that mm-hmm. are involved in this project. So this is a great opportunity because it's exactly what it is. It's an opportunity for the public to come out and share with us how they would like to see this project, how they would like to see it incorporated into community, mm-hmm. uh, not just what the structure would possibly what they see the structure mm-hmm. being um composed of but also that surrounding area you know looking at the neighborhoods maybe some uh, design features uh, to mitigate those spaces underneath the structure as well so this is a great opportunity for everyone to come out and it's this saturday Mm -hmm. uh, january 23rd and it's from 9 a.m until noon at the progressive community outreach center located at 125 galleon street 
Okay, boy. Yeah, people get involved. If you have questions, it's a great place to learn information and to have, you know, your thoughts be heard as well. And that that's exactly what we want mm-hmm. with this particular project. It's not just a DOTD project. Hey, mm-hmm. we're, you know, DOTD presenting this project to the community mm-hmm. with this aspect, with this phase of uh, what we're doing on the connector. It's really a time for us to hear from the community. Right. This is the people's project mm-hmm. and we want to hear from them. I hope people will take advantage of that yes. on Saturday and then be a part of it and be involved in it. And if anyone has, if they'd like more information about the workshop, they can feel free to contact me at our district office, which is 262-6100, or they can find out more information by visiting our website at lafayetteconnector.com. Okay. DJ Drewett with DOTD, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. We always appreciate you. Thank you. You know, it's not my regular day, but hey, it's Tuesday and we're talking transportation. Uh-huh. And it's like Transportation Tuesday. So. I know, yeah. right? And it's so like always it. so glad it's not a Monday. Mm-hmm. Yesterday yeah. was like a Monday Monday, it, you know? Yeah, it, it was. I know. It, it so really was. Today's going to just be so exciting, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I have to kick it off. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. <laughs> <laughs> KPL News Time is 850.